What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Now before we go ahead and get the party started and jump into the video, I got two things I want to mention real quick. The first thing is a lot of you, when you're watching this video, will probably notice that the audio is a little rough around the edges. Now I did my best in Final Cut Pro to try and make the audio sound as good as possible. My main goal in Final Cut Pro was to, at the very least, make it so you guys could hear me. So hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying the entire video. If not, my apologies, but I tried. I did the best I could with what I had. So, is what it is. All right, now that we got that out of the way, the second thing I wanna mention has to do with this shirt that I'm wearing right here. You guys will probably notice that this exact shirt is the shirt that I'm wearing in this video. Now for those of you that don't know, I recently got sponsored and started a partnership with a clothing brand by the name of Into The AM. It's a brand that I've been a huge fan of and I've been following for probably the last couple of years at the very least. And I have companies reach out to me all the time either to review and test products or a lot of them want to work with me in some way or another. But Almost every single time I've said no because I feel like their product or business does not fit my channel, doesn't fit my personality. But when Into the AM reached out to me a couple weeks ago, I was pretty stoked to say the least. So I'm very excited about the partnership and see where it leads. In the meantime though, they sent me a couple care packages and this shirt was in the second care package along with a couple others. They call it their basic tee. You guys can probably understand why. It's pretty basic. It's a 60% cotton, 40% polyester blend, which personally is probably my favorite blend. It's the same blend that I use for the majority of my t-shirts for my clothing brand. It's super comfortable, has an athletic fit. They also printed their own custom tags, so you don't have to worry about any of those annoying old school tags. Other than that, they have a tiny little logo right here on the left chest and a hem tag with their logo at the bottom of the shirt. And that is about it. Super simple, super clean, super comfortable. This shirt comes in all different kinds of colors. So if you guys are interested, feel free to check out their website. I'll drop the link below. If you use that link, it gives you 10 or maybe even 15% off your entire order. If you wanna hear more about my personal story regarding Into the AM, check out the video link below. I go into a lot more details in that video, but I'm gonna try and keep this intro short and sweet. But before I move on, I also want to mention that Into the AM also hooked me up with this mask, which you guys will also probably notice that I wear throughout this video. So if you're looking for a mask with cool designs on it, definitely check them out. Either way, no worries. That's all I'm going to say about Into the AM for now. Now aside from the audio issues, I'd also been doing a ton of recording that day and the day before. So I was getting pretty close to losing my voice. It was actually almost completely all the way gone by the time I got home. My girlfriend could barely even understand me. And you guys will probably notice a little bit of cracking and maybe you can tell in this video that I was kind of losing my voice. Even now, I feel like it hasn't came back all the way. Every once in a while, it feels like it's cracking. I think I just need to take a break from talking, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So without further ado, Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. You guys know what time it is? It is treasure hunt o'clock. Yeah, let's do this. See you guys inside. Yeah, let's go. The game plan is to hit up Ross, Marshalls, and Burlington. So, stop number one as you guys can see, is your boy Ross. Let's do this. All right, starting at the small size. I was about to say big boy size like usual, but it looks like this Ross switched it up on me. We have some 270 Reacts that have a nice little special feature. Look like someone used them for toilet paper. Yeah, you guys know what they say when nature calls, right? Sometimes you do what you gotta do and make a poo. Ross wants $64.99, comparable value $112. And you guys can see right here what they resell for. Actually, I have a couple of pairs of these, I believe. Anyways, moving right along. Got these Jordan Maxon 200s, I believe they're called. Saw these the other night as well. 
and I looked at them pretty closely. I thought about snagging them. I actually got to this Ross right as they were doing the ever so elusive Ross restock. And I saw them unloading these. I thought for sure the nice and shiny Jordans would be a good find. But unfortunately, considering Ross wants $69.99 for them, and they resell for right around 100 bucks, if even that, just because there's so many of these dudes on eBay. Not the best flip in the world. I do dig them though. And the sizes are pretty legit as well too. We got an 11 and a, what do you know, another 11. They actually had another colorway of these the other night as well. It was like white and, I wanna say navy blue and red maybe. And that one actually sold for a little bit more. I think it was like a size 12, but not quite enough to justify dropping 70 bones on them. So, looks like I'm not the only one that felt that way because these have probably been here for about a week now, which uh, after a good find, they usually don't last that long. Moving right along down the Ross men's shoe section of assembly line. Not seeing too much. Slim pickets tonight for the most part. At least the shelves aren't quite as empty as they've been in the past. But like I said, I was here, I think less than a week ago, and there was quite a few maybes that I wish I could have done a little bit more research on. Maybe I would have pulled the trigger, but I left them behind. And from the looks of it, I don't think they're here anymore. So it looks like someone beat me to them. And here's the other pair of 270 racks in a, I think this is a different colorway than the first one we saw. Same price, $64.99, size 11 and a half. Not the greatest. I think this colorway sells for a little bit more than the other one, especially if you consider the nice little brown stain that we saw right here. These ones resell for that amount. And once again, since they're $64.99, not exactly the best profit margin in the world. So I thought that might be a good profit right when they were being unloaded from the cart, like the Jordans, but uh, not so much. And then below the 270 Reacts, we have the New Balance 997S, yeah, 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 AKA Cowie Leonard's signature shoe, I believe, which considering the popularity of Cowie, I thought, thought they might possibly be a good find, especially with that price tag, $36.99. But unfortunately, eBay's pretty much flooded with these guys. This one's a size eight, and they resell for that right there, which means just like their neighbor, the 270 Rex, not the best profit margin. And that's about it. After the Cowies, we get into the a little bit bigger sizes, which usually are stocked, at least a lot more so than the smaller sizes. But for whatever reason, after Ross switched things around, smaller sizes used to be on this side, bigger sizes used to be way down there. It looks like uh, once they switched sides, they also switched the amount of big sizes compared to smaller sizes, which I'm definitely cool with because smaller sizes usually sell a lot better. Got some Under Armour camo boots, comparable value 90, Ross price 54.99. Keep it real with you guys, I'm not very up to date on uh, how much Under Armour camo boots sell for on eBay, but I suppose since we don't have too many other pairs to look at at the moment, grab these, see what the eBay situation looks like, and that might be a wrap. Other than these guys that I've been carrying around, Kyrie 2 Lowe's in a navy blue and a little bit of white colorway. Unfortunately, these dudes are a super tiny size, six and a half. But with that tiny size comes a tiny price tag of $26.99. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Which is definitely a plus. So we'll check out the camo boots, then we'll check out the carries. Then we'll go back through the shoe section real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. And after that, head next door to Marshall's and continue the journey. All right, so look these dudes up on eBay and they actually resell for right around 100 bucks. And I checked them out on Under Armour's website and they sell them for 140 bucks. So considering they're $54.99 and size eight's a pretty decent size, definitely gonna grab these guys. And then I went back and I saw these ones, which are the same boot just clearly a different colorway. And I was like, dang, maybe I found two good boots. And then I saw this and it ruined my night. <laughs> no, not really, but a uh, size 12 and a half for the most part is usually no good. And that is definitely true with these guys because there's only a few of them listed on eBay. And I think almost every single one is a size 12 and a half. I'll check this one out. It's a 12 and a half. So brand new for $69.99 plus free shipping, 12 and a half. 12 and a half, and 
and this guy, which is currently at 3550, which, what do you know, size 12 and a half with 15 bids. So yeah, it's not looking too promising for the uh, size 12 and a half one. So we'll definitely put those ones back, take these ones, take these carries, because I looked them up real quick, and they should sell for right around like 80 bucks, and should be a relatively quick and easy flip. But I gotta grab those dudes, hit the checkout, and hit the road because it's 825, which I'm hoping Marshalls and Burlington are open until nine. But either way, even if that is the case, I'm not leaving myself too much time. So let's roll. Well, at Marshalls, it's not looking too promising. I don't know about you guys, but unless the, all the employees are ghosts, it's looking pretty closed. Yep, sure enough, eight o'clock. Closing time. Closing time. Open all the doors. All right, I don't know how the rest of the song goes. I forgot it. It's been a minute since whenever the song came out. All right, well, uh, there goes the uh, Marshalls portion of the journey. Guess we'll come back tomorrow for attempt number two. In the meantime, I'll tell you guys who's not closed, at least not yet. I hope. My boy Burlington. It's been a while. Let's go. If we can get in, that is. This, my friends, uh, just ruined the door. Good job. I was gonna say the moment of truth, but you know, Burlington's automatic door kind of ruined that one for me. Dang it. Well, the uh, men's shoe section was a pretty solid stand up comedy, and the active section, aka where the jerseys are, is a much better. They have a ton of Dallas Cowboy Ezekiel Elliott jerseys. Super cheap jerseys, that is. $12.99. And what brand are they, you may ask? Well, I guess they're a Dallas Cowboys brand, maybe? Yeah, awesome. Anyways, so if any of you guys want some cheap Ezekiel LE jerseys, if there's any uh, Cowboys fans out there, let me know, got you covered. About to have to send out an SOS because uh, it's getting ugly in here. Ooh, what are these? Some fly knit women soccer cleats? Maybe they're in the wrong section? Oh uh, yeah, they're, they're boys, not women's, but fly knit's always a good sign. Guess we'll check these out, even though they're kids, and continue the journey. Five minutes later. Well, that was quick and relatively painless and an excellent reminder of why I haven't been to Burlington in a long, long, long time. See you guys tomorrow. The next day. Oh, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video and welcome to day two of this treasure hunt adventure. As you guys can see, we're currently posted up outside Marshalls since they were closed last night. So that is where today's treasure hunt adventure is gonna start, or I guess pick up from last night. After we hit up Marshalls, we'll probably go back into Ross just in case they decide to get their Ross restock on between when I left last night and before I got here today because you never know when the Ross restock's gonna hit. Sometimes, fingers crossed, you get lucky. With that said, enough talky talky. It's time to suit up. Suit up! AKA, get our mask on. Now that we're all suited up, let's head inside. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I walked over to the men's shoe section and from far away, I saw those dudes and I got super stoked for a second because I thought they might possibly be foam posits and then I got a little bit closer and realized they're most definitely not foam posits. Instead, they're called Nike Air Max Wavies. Retail for 110. Didn't even bother looking them up because there's pairs on pairs on pairs on pairs. If anyone wants one, hit me up. If you wear a size 10, 10 and a half, 9, 9 and a half, got a little bit of everything. And not just this colorway, my friends. Oh no, there's more. Some more red ones with a couple other sizes. Some blue ones with all those sizes, but that's not it. But wait, there's more. There's also the purple people eater edition with those sizes. So unfortunately there's no foam posits, but we do have these bad boys. Other than that, we got these dudes, which were here last time, called the Nike Zoom 2Ks, retail 85. Ross wants $39.99. What are these dudes? The foam posit wannabes, $39.99. What was the retail again? $110. Other than that, not too much going on. We have these Zoom Rises, which I haven't looked up yet. Marshalls wants $39.99 for them. And according to the box, 
retail is 140. So considering they have quite a few different sizes and this is not the only place that have them, I think they're over there as well. Something tells me they're probably not gonna resell too well. But since the retail is looking a little bit juicy and we don't have much else to look up at the moment, we'll uh, check these out real quick. 10 seconds later. And that is 10 seconds of my life that I'll never get back. Once again, retail looks pretty juicy. Not the worst looking sneakers in the world, but they do not resell very well at all. Moving on. And I'm checking out all the boxes just in case there's a diamond hiding in the rough somewhere. Cause sometimes that happens at Marshalls. You'll find like one good pair hidden amongst the uh, not so good pairs. Sometimes it pays off, most of the time not, but when it does, it's definitely worth it. If you guys watched my last Marshalls video, you'll probably recognize these dudes, which brings us to the men's clearance section, AKA our last hope, at least for Marshalls. And quick little look through, it's not looking too promising. Got some Haraches here, marked down to $45 hairs. Pretty sure I looked these up a couple weeks back, or maybe months back, when they were over there in the normal men's section, and even complete with box, they didn't resell too well which is probably why they migrated all the way over to the clearance section. Got some marquee boosts. We've seen these dudes everywhere, especially at Ross for quite a few months now. Some cheap Nike cleats, New Balance. Man, where is the good stuff hiding? Not looking too promising. Anything hiding down here? What are those? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone at all? What are these things? Boy, Nike, Nike, Nike. Whoever was in charge of designing these shoes probably needs some alone time to uh, think about their transgressions. Well, that certainly was not pretty. So, I'm heading next door to my boy Ross. So hopefully I have some better luck. Fingers crossed I can find some more of those Tottenham Hotspur jerseys that I found a week or so ago at this exact Ross and sold for I'd say a small fortune. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Looking eerily similar to last night. Definitely having some deja vu. It looks like they definitely did not bust out the Ross restock either last night or earlier today. Oh well, what you gonna do is what it is. Well, looks like someone snagged a pair of the size 11, or are these called Jordan Maxon 200s. So clearly someone likes them. I'm guessing the price tag hasn't changed in the last half a day or so. Nope, oh, still $69.99 and still size 11. Dang, I gotta feel bad for these dudes. Someone grabbed their friend and left these dudes behind all by themselves. Oh, but they do have a friend up top, arguably the two goats of basketball, except I'm pretty sure this is a kid size. Let's see, $42.99, size 7Y. Yep, definitely a kid size. I've seen quite a few of these at different Rosses lately, but all of them have been kit sizes. And based on that right there, I'm guessing these are LeBron Soldier 13s, which I'm not too, too familiar with, but since they're kit size, definitely leaving those behind. All is not lost though. I also found these Nike, I think they're called Zoom Fly 3s. Yeah, there we go. You can see the Fly 3 right there. Comparable value 120, Ross price 46.99. I'm actually kind of digging that colorway, I like it. But the true test, as always, let's see what our friend eBay has to say about these guys. Moments later. All right, all right, all right. So I am pleasantly surprised. As you guys can see right here, there's only two other size nine and a halfs listed on eBay right now. Both of them are listed for well over a hundred. And as you guys can see right here, there's quite a few of these guys, actually a ton of them that have sold recently, and pretty much every single one of them has sold for 100 bucks and up. And since once again, Ross wants $46.99 for them, and like I mentioned earlier, there's only two other size nine and a half listed on eBay right now, so not too much competition. They sell really well, so it looks like we found a diamond in the rough after all. One is always better than none. And that, my friends, is officially a wrap for this video. If you made it this far, there's a new delivery video coming very, 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 very soon. So if you're interested in those kind of videos, stay tuned. If not, no worries. I'll catch you in the next video. Either way, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day. 
Enjoy the rest of your night, stay sane, stay safe, and as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on a speed.